Welcome back to Let's Play Gish. We finished all of the main game, but I've got quite a few custom campaigns I downloaded. It's actually kind of a pain to find them, but this is one that I downloaded off a site that has most, if not all, of the custom player-made levels and campaigns that are online. At least all that I found. The publisher used to have a thing on their website with a bunch of the player-made campaigns, but they seem to have removed it. It's been a few years since the game's released, though, so I guess that's expected. But I'll provide a link in the description that has the website with all of the things posted. And this one is Amber Mine. I'm not sure if it gives the creator's name on the website or anything. I don't remember seeing that information, but if I find it, I will post it, of course. Amber Mine looked like it was one of the easier custom campaigns. So I thought I'd try it real quick. I just read a whole chapter on fun stuff, like, whoa. All of the little bones and organs in your auditory system. As a psychology major, I know that's important and everything, but I'm not that big fan of, a fan of psychoacoustics. a fan of much of the physiology in general. All of the brain parts really just look the same. Much more interested in what they do. Switches. That looks bad. Dogs. Switch. I'm actually not sure what these guys are called. I just call them dogs. They act like dogs. I think that those guys with the big heads that you can snap their necks, those are called big heads. Which, that's easy enough. I have no idea what the little dog things are. I'm not sure if there are any other common enemies. I think I broke the switch. That's great. Oh well. Beacon has an elevator. I guess we're going without the elevator. I guess you're supposed to do that. Maybe that wasn't supposed to be an elevator. Maybe it was, it looks like I'm not supposed to be all the way down here, I don't know. Come on, Gish. There you go. This looks like it's a, it's a pretty quick campaign. Whoa. Lava? Oh well, I won't touch it. Oops. Oh. Hello, big head guy. Snap. Sounds in this game are so satisfying. It's like hearing the guy's head snap and the rope snap and the little dog things go squish. And Gish goes squish too. And there goes snap. I didn't know that guy was there. Up, up Gish. Ooh. 
of amber, but I can't get it. each other. That's great. Uh -huh. Secrets. That was a secret. I thought that was the way I was supposed to go. this next elevator because I think it'll wish me if I'm outside. Yep. I survived. That was the one thing I noted about the custom campaigns when I was just trying them out was... Uh oh. As you might expect, they're not made quite as perfectly as the oops, main game, so uh oh. There's lots of weird situations you can get into. Apparently that doesn't kill me. And they have lots of little things that kill you that I don't think they intended to kill you. Like a lot of them do that cannon launching type thing, but oops. The cannon flings you at such a high velocity that it just kills Gish. Which is kind of annoying. And I get stuck in the wall again. Oh well. Freedom. not patient, and I'm just gonna go. Yep. I figured this would be open. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Ooh, is this a secret? Well, I broke things. Breaking things is usually a good sign. Um, wait, what? Why am I on the ceiling? I don't think I should be on the ceiling. There we go. Oh, what the? And apparently, leave water just by going a little to the right. And again, video games tend to have a rather tenuous grasp of physics. What's this freak again? Neat. Oh, I guess I lure it onto the switch. Don't squish me. Okay, over here. There you go. Now, now how do 
I kill you? There's another button up there. Almost had it. Guess I used the wall. There we go. There we go. Squish. Let's go elevator. 